So this morning we will learn how to practice like a mindful uh, movement with the body. But the set of Qigong this morning I will share with you is uh, we call the blood clean Qigong. I'm from the inside for the Man Tue. So this morning we can learn the blood clean Qigong. And in this Qigong is very uh, good for your uh, body and your mind at the same time and cleans the blood and can bring mind and body back to the present moment, can calm body and mind, but also prevents a lot of illness and uh, eliminates the uh, chronic illness. So for the uh, friends, even you are um, elders or you are younger, it's okay, easy, okay, not difficult. We can stand by barefoot huh? on the yoga mat, so easy to practice. So let us um, shake our hands, yeah. You can uh, move to the left, yeah, move to the right. So one hand touch shoulders and another hand touch your lower back. You see my lower back, yeah? So move to the left and move to the right. And you breathe naturally, inhale and exhale. You kneel your knees down a little bit, yeah? You feel relaxed. Offer a gentle smile to your body. Inhale, exhale. You breathe through your nose naturally. Okay, next is open our shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Look like you make a circle backwards with your shoulders to your arms. You bend your knees down. Inhale and exhale. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms, your hands. Okay? That's good. You can relax our uh, our wrists and and our knees. So you can stand by one leg, but uh, gently. I think you can do it. You can do reverse. So warming up is very important. When you do, it's right, right? You can make your body, all the muscles and your joints, will be safe with another leg, inhale and exhale. You do reverse. We can close our eyes and relax our head. reverse. So during the time of warming up, you already be aware, yeah, aware about your body, aware of your breathing. Be mindful while you are moving. Be mindful of each movement. Okay, next is uh, we uh, um, relax your, your waist, okay? So put your two palms on your lower back and you can relax your waist. Make your circle with your uh, lower back. Inhale and exhale. Do reverse. At Deer Park Monastery, the sunshine is so beautiful. And I am now be, uh, behind of the big meditation hall. So it's so fresh. The oxygen I breathe, the air that I breathe, I feel connected to the nature, okay? Okay, the next is uh, we can um, make our two hands in uh, front of your chest, your elbow bending this way, and you move to the left, twist your body to the left, and raise up your, your, your heel, touch by your toes. Exhale, we turn to your right, in, out, okay? Twist your body, relax your chest, Relax the elbows, toes, in, out. Okay, that's good. So we shake, shake our hands. We jump a little bit. Yeah, shake our fingers, shake our toes. 
We take a deep breath, inhale, bring our mind back to the body, exhale. You are aware about your, uh, of your abdomen, rising and falling. This area, we call the Dan Tien area, okay? So you breathe in and out, you feel the rising and the falling of the abdomen. And you put your palms in front of your abdomen, you feel really alive feel at ease, relaxed. And your knees bend a little bit when you rest it. Yeah? So for this uh, set of Qigong, there are nine movements. Okay? So we can stand by our barefoot. Um, start by standing uh, form V-shape with the two feet. You can see it. Yeah. And um, our two palms will face face to front and make the V-shape like this to breathe feel confident to the body okay so the first movement we call the activate hands and legs um, so we can use our right palm right we will clap on the front of the uh, in the back of the left palm uh, left hand and elbow Left elbow, okay, and then in the back shoulder, you got it, and another hand, and then shoulder, in the back of your right shoulders, that's good, and then the lower back, kneel down a little bit, yeah, and then beside your knee, beside your knees, yeah, and then bend down more beside your ankle joint. Angle chant is down here. That's good. And repeat again. So inhale, exhale, through the mouth. Inhale, exhale, through the mouth. Inhale, through the nose. Exhale, through the mouth. Inhale, lower back. Exhale, kneel down beside the knees. Inhale, beside the chant, ankle chant. Exhale. Inhale, we repeat 21 times. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. Low back. Out. Knees. In. Out. Inhale. Exhale. When you do like that, your body will be warm. We call it activate hands and legs. Out, in, out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. In, out. In, lower back. Out, beside knees, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. out. that's wonderful. Bring mind back to body. So these movements we call the activates hands and legs. And when you do that, you make all the acupressure points of your hands and legs will be activated and warm. You make body warm. You feel a little bit uh, tension and a little bit pain with your in the back of your hand. It's fine. That is make your palms will be warm and your blood and chi will flowing good. So Qigong is uh, the energy, the energy, the vitality, the energy within, the breathing that you practice and you can generate, you can produce. With mindful breathing, you make your energy flow in a very uh, wonderful way. Yeah. So let us breathe one more time. Inhale, exhale, rest. 
relax the body. Feel the rise and the falling of the abdomen. Okay, your dantian area, lower abdomen. The second movement we call the open arms. So we can start also by V shape with our palms. Open your heart. Smile. Okay. Breathing in, you charm your palm, front of your chest, and you feel full of air with your chest, right? Breathing out, you open your palms, open your shoulders, open maximum, and then go down here with a V shape again. Breathe it out through the mouth naturally, okay? So you can release the worries, release tensions, but also you can make the, the blood, make the, uh, the blood uh, circulation flowing good, okay? Inhale, exhale. In, out. Your out breath naturally longer than your in breath so that you can release the worries, tensions, stretch. Inhale deep, exhale slow. You feel your chest. You feel your palms and your shoulders in, out. So each movement, usually we can do 21 times, but it depends on your exercise time. You can do shorter or longer, depends. But 21 times is good. Inhale, exhale. In, out. Open your heart. Release tensions, fear, in, out. One more time. Inhale, exhale. That's wonderful. We bring my back to the body again. Inhale, exhale, relax body. Slowly, you can feel your palms. You front up your abdomen. You feel more relaxed. Uh, you practice this chico. You feel that your palm will be very warm, and you feel energy with your hands very quickly. Yeah. So uh, always come back to your breathing. Relax the body. The more you relax, the more you feel healed inside the body. Okay. <clears throat> so the third uh, movement three we call the uh, hand folded. Body curving, okay? So you fold it your hand. You can start by uh, also uh, uh, V shape with our feet, huh? And then you can join your palm. Your two, uh, your thumb, we will cross together, okay? Your right thumb will cross your left thumb or the other way, it's okay. And you put on your chest level. And you're breathing in, we call the uh, Hand folded, body curving. So you can bring your folded hand until your middle finger touch the point center of your two eyebrows. Okay, right here, right here. So you touch your uh, forehead right here. Inhale, we bend body backward. Exhale, naturally bend down, curve body until your middle finger will touch the ground, yeah? Your, your knee straight, your knee straight, okay? But if some of you get uh, difficult, some of you, maybe you are older, right? You cannot bend uh, completely, your uh, fingers touch the ground, it's fine. But your knee should, should be, uh, should be uh, straight. So you can move a little bit as far as you can, yeah? But you bend forward, your knee straight, some of you, you may touch the ground by the middle fingers. That could be great. Inhale. Look in the back. Bend. Backward. Exhale. Curving. Bend forward. Your hand will touch the ground. This is very good for lower back. Inhale. Exhale. 
Breathing in through the nose, breathing out naturally through the mouth. Relax the body, inhale, exhale. You can practice also 21 times. In, out. You feel good when you sit too long, right? When you kind of move your back. And this one is good for lower back, your chest, and your neck. Exhale, go down. Inhale, bend backward. Your hand will be under between your eyes brow. Inhale one more time. Exhale. That's wonderful. Shake your hands. Feel good. Relax body. You can start to jump a little bit like that to uh, shake the whole body to really um, make all cells relaxed and make your body alive, okay? Breathing in, out. When you touch your body, okay? You bring energy of love, care, and peace to your body, compassion to your body. And your body will have more capacity to heal, okay? To relax. At the same time, they will have opportunity to take care of themselves, body and mind together, yeah? The fourth movement, we can, uh, this one we can um, stand in as well as your shoulders by your two feet, yeah? And your two feet will be parallel, and your toes, your toe will uh, move inward a little bit. Yeah, your toe inward a little bit, parallel. You open your palm like this again, V-shape. Open your mind, open your heart. So uh, this uh, movement four, we call the hands upward and backwards. So uh, breathing in, you will lift your hands up this way, up, and you will raise up your heel. You stand by your toes, okay? So this movement can help you to acute pressure with your legs, with your toes, okay? I lift up my heel and stand by toe. Exhale, I turn my palm front and move down. I put my heel down. I kneel down and then I stretch my, my shoulder, my hand in the back and raise up my, my toe a little bit. You look, raise up my toe a little bit. Yeah, yeah. One moment when I stretch, I stretch my hand in the back and I raise up my toes, yeah. So in that way, you acute pressure your feet, your ankles, um, your toes, and um, your feet. Inhale, raise up, hand upward and backward. Exhale, move down, bend down, and stretch, raise up your toes. In, hands up, stretch up, out, turn your palms front. And stretch, bend down, and stretch in the back. Raise up the toes. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. Inhale, exhale, in, we also do 31 times, inhale, turn around, exhale, this movement is good for your shoulders and your acute pressure with your, your feet and your toes, exhale. Okay, one more time, inhale. Exhale, that's wonderful. Wow. Relax body, bring mind back to the body again. Exhale.
let go. Let go all the thoughts. Let go his worries, okay? The next movement we call the slap on two knees, okay? Slap on two knees. So this movement we can uh, stand in uh, naturally, yeah? Uh, so we can uh, slap on the knees by stand by one, one leg, okay? You can stand such a way that. So uh, uh, right palm will slap on the left knee. From the knee, right, go up this way. Yeah, and you put down naturally, your hand, the shoulder relax, and the left knee is up, left hand will slap on it. When you slap like this, is uh, you make your palms and your knees will be warm, but good for your legs. And uh, you also do the um, uh, 21 time, okay? Inhale, exhale. Okay, inhale through the nose. Exhale, in, out, in, out, in, out, out. Out. Inhale. Exhale. You will feel a little bit tension with your palm and your knees, but also at the same time release tensions. You feel warm. Connected. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. One more time. In. Out. That's good. Breathing in. Out. Open your palms. Stand in your two knees, loose a little bit. Feel your body and your mind together as a present moment. So the next uh, movement, the movement six, I think, will be, uh, we call the two hand clasp the nip. So your nip is right here, right? Your nip is right here. On the left side and the right side. Nip, we call the nip or the neck. So when you clap, is make this area will be warm and acute pressure and uh, prevent a lot of cold and illness um, and it's good for your um, you just clap no normally not too strong and not too soft just normally it's such a way that you feel it so when you clap one hand will clap and the other hand will open this way okay you stand two uh, two leg parallel naturally like that to relax inhale right hand Clap the nip, and you turn another one. Exhale with the left hand. Inhale, or oh, turn around, you see. Exhale, you see. Inhale, exhale. Okay, inhale with the right hand. Exhale, left hand. In, out. Inhale, exhale. Relax your body, your neck. Inhale, exhale. You can do 21 times and then you feel kind of warm with your neck. Release tension. In, out, through the mouth. Inhale with the nose. Exhale your mouth. One more time. In, out. That's good. Shake our hands.
Oh, breathe in, push your hand up. Turn around. Out. So always offer a gentle smile to your body. Yeah. Release tensions. So the next is uh, movement seven. We call the tap on the top of the head. The top of the head is right here. So some of you may say, wow, this is so simple. And uh, this is uh, kind of uh, yeah, risky. But when you do right, actually you can touch your head, but you can use uh, your palm, feel connected with your head. Top. To tap it, look like you massage your head, okay? Tap on the top of the head naturally, yeah? Like that. Not too strong, not too soft, but you feel the, the, the sound. Just do inhale, and then you put down, and exhale. Okay? In, out. Remember your hands, one hand uh, clap, one hand tap, right? Another hand will open like this. So you can feel the cosmic air to feel the nature, body, and your body is one. Inhale, exhale. In, out. In, out. Release the thinking, okay? Release thinking and uh, prevents the hectic. Make your blood uh, flowing good around your brain and your head. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. Inhale. Exhale. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. Out. That's good. Breathing in. Out. Yeah, so um, the movements, uh, each movement we can practice 21 times, and you, if you do regularly. So this uh, movement, this Qigong can help you to, uh, to uh, produce, generate the, um, the smooth, uh, smooth circulation flow inside your body, the blood, circulation of blood and qi flowing good, okay? So that's why we can, you see, tap and clap and slap a lot, but also, also move the body too. So the, the eighth uh, movement is we call the washing two ears. So you can use your, uh, your all fingers to wash your ear from up, up here, upward. And you can pull down your ear lobe. We in breath and out breath, you can use your two thumb. Breath, out breath. Okay, you breathe out. Inhale, you pull your ears down. Exhale, we we'll use your thumb to press your ear. In, out. In, out. So this movement you can do often is very good for your health. Because your ears, there are a lot of acupressure points. Inhale, wash your ear, pull down your ear lobe. Okay? Exhale, press close your ear by your thumb. In, dip out. In, out. In, out. Inhale, one more time. Exhale. That's good. 
we also do 21 times. That is the standard uh, times that we can do, but you can do uh, less and more, depends on the time, okay? Open our palms again, inhale, exhale. We come back to the position. There is a resting position, okay, with this uh, Qigong. Open your heart, feel the air, nature. That's why when you uh, stand by barefoot, you feel the mother earth, right? The barefoot, uh, even you can stand on your yoga mat, you can feel it. Um, so your, your skin, your, uh, your feet can get in touch, can actually pressure with your feet and your hands. So the next movement, the, the ninth movement, uh, we need to have a chair, okay? Or you can sit on the rock or something. This one we call the uh, uh, slap on the sole of the feet. We call the slap on the sole of the feet. So you can use your right leg cross to the left knee, okay? Yeah. And you use the right hand or the finger of right hand holding the toes of the right, right toes over here, holding all of them, the first part here. And your left palm over here, you breathe in deep, breathe in out. You clap on it very strong. So you, you can use a palm to clap on the sole of the feet over here. On the sole of the feet over here, there are a lot of acupressure points. And when you massage it, breathe it in and breathe it out. Rest for a while. Inhale, open palm. Exhale. Relax. Inhale. Exhale. We do 21 times. In, out. Inhale. Exhale. Especially in the winter. Okay, you wear socks all the time. It's good to get off the socks and breathe and massage it. Inhale, exhale. In, in. Okay, we can try with the another leg. It's fun, huh? It's fun to have a connection between two hands and two legs, two feet. Okay, so we can use uh, left, uh, all left uh, fingers. We will hold in the, all toes of the left, uh, left toes over here, the first part. Inhale with the right palm. Exhale, slap. Rest for a while. In, out. You feel it? Your sole of the feet in, out. In, out. In, out. Out. Inhale. Exhale. In, out. Three more times. In, out. Inhale. Exhale. That's good. Okay, you can stand up. Open your palms. Inhale. I love this movement. Exhale. Always happy to, to remind myself to open my heart, to bring awareness, bring my mind back to the body. Always. Can you shake your hand. So we can... Um, uh, do the massage movement. First of all, you can massage your two palms together. Until you massage this, until warm, right? Then side by side. Another side.
and after that we might start our pace. Ah, uh, go down, go up. Massage your face. And then your head. You can use all fingers to brush your hair, brush your scalp. And you just breathe with that. All the your head, your hair. If you uh, massage your head in this way, like a brush your head, your hair, make the uh, all the blood and chi, all the cells relax and release tensions because we think too much. Release the worries from the brain, the thoughts. Let go all the thoughts. Okay, that's wonderful. We massage our abdomen to put your two palms together to uh, make a circle from the lower abdomen go up and go down and you press a little bit you press in a little bit you feel the the warm the rising and falling so we massage this often it helps uh, that just uh, system. Okay, so we make our uh, two two hand like the fist, and then you can massage your lower back from here. Go down and go to front two legs. Go up, go down again, and go in the back. So we can go three rounds like that. Inhale, exhale. That's good. So we can massage hand by hand. Use the one uh, right fist, and then you can massage the two side of the left hand. Let's arm over here, yeah, and then we go to another side. Another hand. Okay. You can make the um, five fingers like a uh, top together like this, like a mountain. And you just uh, massage your um, left shoulders and left chest. That is the point over here. Connection, okay? Connection point. So you just massage it. You can tap for 20 times and then you change to another side. So this is very good for your heart, okay? Make your blood and the nerves, um, uh, the, the blood flowing, flowing good, make your heart beat, it's normal. You can do 20 times and then change to the right side, yeah. Over here, have your lungs. That's good. You push your hand front, hold your hand back by your right palm. Right palm holding your left palm to pull. And your elbow straight, okay? Your, your arm will be straight. So you breathe in and out three times. This one can strengthen your wrist, and your fingers and your arms. You put 
down and holding back three times of breathing. The other hand. Put down and hold it back. That's wonderful. Breathing in, out. So you can put one hand, one palm with your heart area, and your left uh, hand, left palm will be low abdomen. Yeah. When I do Qigong, I do exercise. I be mindful. I am mindful of my body and my mind at the same time. I feel grateful okay, to my body. Thank you, heart. Thank you, lungs. Thank you, body, for being there. Always have a positive energy and positive uh, intention to the body and the more you relax and the more you feel healing happening easily in the body. So the time that you practice exercise mindfully, Qigong is the time to let go, release tensions and take care of the body and your mind. The time to love your body. So I take moments to Always feel my body in this way at the end. Okay, so the cleansing breath. This is uh, the last moment ever when I do Qigong. Uh, at the end, I always do like this. Inhale, we raise up arms and raise up your heel. Stand by the toe, deep. And exhale, ah, you, you, through the mouth, you make the sound ha ah, to release all fear, anxieties, and the sickness, the, the old air in the body. Okay, inhale. Ha! Ah. In. Ha! Ah. Inhale. Ha! Ah. That's good. Inhale. Exhale. So uh, that's it for today. Um, so dear friends, the exercise today we just try to do the first time. So tomorrow we can do, uh, I mean, we can do like more smooth uh, and uh, we can learn through the retreat, uh, this set of Qigong so that we can apply every day and we can practice every day. I think this is uh, easy for, because I see that some uh, Vietnamese uh, friends, so uh, I think it's easy for them to do more simple and uh, anybody can apply uh, different ages. So thank you for joining us today.